Would you like to be seated? Monsieur le Président, Madame Reagan, chers amis, c'est une double bienvenue que j'ai le plaisir de vous souhaiter, puisqu'en même temps que je vous reçois au Canada, je vous accueille en terre québécoise. Vous êtes ici au cœur du Québec et du Canada français, dans la plus ancienne ville canadienne et l'une des premières fondées en Amérique. Par respect pour l'histoire et en hommage à l'un des peuples fondateurs de notre grand pays, il convenait, il me semble, Monsieur le Président, que votre première visite de votre second terme, chez nous, s'effectue au berceau du Québec et du Canada. Ici, s'est implantée, épanouie et affirmée une culture originale, la seule du genre au monde, nourrie d'une part aux sources de la civilisation française et fidèle à sa merveilleuse langue, la culture québécoise plonge d'autre part dans cette terre d'Amérique les racines de son identité. Here in Quebec, Mr. President, on this day of days, I extend the greeting of our Celtic ancestors, a warm 100,000 welcomes to you, Nancy and your delegation, as you arrive here in Canada. Here in Quebec, you will see evidence everywhere of the distinctiveness of Canada, and I hope you will take away as well first-hand impressions of the diversity, the dynamism, and the confidence of this country. We are an independent nation which sees no contradiction in guarding our sovereignty jealously while treating our friends fairly. At our meetings, you will see reflected the long history of friendship, common values, and mutual interests that has always drawn our countries together. But we meet, Mr. President, not so much to celebrate that relationship as to renew it. And renew it we must for new problems, new dangers, and new opportunities face our two countries as economic partners on this continent and as traders in the world, as allies in the defense of North America and the West, as custodians of our environment, as inheritors of democratic institutions and the rule of law. Our two countries approach some of these problems, as we all know, Mr. President, from very different perspectives. But I believe our people the American people and the Canadians expect us to find ways of solving these problems and of enriching life in our distinctive North American societies. That is the opportunity afforded by your visit, to show the world that this unique and remarkable partnership is capable of supporting the most formidable tasks of our era, sustained economic growth, thoughtful environmental protection, and genuine mutual security. Mr. President, it can only be the luck of the Irish that brings us together on this auspicious day, which I use to salute you as a true and a valued friend of Canada and as a leader of a great democracy, the United States of America. Let us rekindle the spirit of joint endeavor by our two countries. In that spirit, sir, I bid you a warm welcome and I invite you to seek with me real achievement for both the United States and Canada as a result of your visit and our meetings. May I invoke that most poignant of Irish blessings in expressing the hope that the Lord always hold you and your people in the palm of his hand. Monsieur le Président, Madame Reagan, bienvenue à Québec, bienvenue au Canada, vous êtes ici, parmi des amis. Prime Minister, Mrs. Mulroney, thank you very much. Premier and Mrs. Levesque, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and my friends, the people of Canada. It's a great pleasure to be here, for to be on Canadian soil is to be among friends, and Nancy and I are happy 
to return here. Et nous sommes heureux que notre vo voyage vous permette de venir dans cette belle ville de Québec. Quebec is one of the most intriguing spots on the continent. Here, New France was founded. Here, French is the language of commerce, the arts, and everyday life. Here, English Canadians and French Canadians came together over a century ago to set the foundations for a country in whose parliament both French and English would be spoken. And here, the citadel and the walls of the old city remind us that Canadians and Americans long ago put aside their differences to become friends. In fact, we're more than friends and neighbors and allies. We are kin, who together have built the most productive relationship between any two countries in the world today. This is my first trip outside the United States since I was sworn into a second term. Four years ago, I took my first trip as president, and then two. I came to Canada. And this is not a coincidence. For the United States, there is no more important relationship than our tie with Canada. We are each other's most important economic partner. We each play an important role in world affairs. We share a responsibility for the protection of the continent that we peacefully share. We have a joint stake in its environment. And we are partners in space, and in the technologies of the future. Between two such independent and sovereign countries, there will always be some differences, as there will always be opportunities for agreement. We can still use what Franklin D. Roosevelt, our last American president to visit Quebec City while serving at the White House, called for between us. He asked for frank dealing, cooperation, and a spirit of give and take. That's precisely what your Prime Minister and I will engage, be engaged in here in Quebec. We will discuss many matters pertaining to the environment, economic growth, and our mutual security. We will discuss global affairs, including arms control. We will also be celebrating St. Patrick's Day. For two fellows named Reagan and Mulroney, this would seem to be appropriate. I know a number of people today, are, including myself, are wearing green ties but I will really make my contribution this evening at dinner. I'm going to think of the Prime Minister's majority in Parliament and turn green with envy. It's, it's wonderful to be here. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.